Hey, how you doing, econ students? This is Mr. Clifford. Welcome to ACDC Econ. Right now, we're going to learn about public goods. No, public goods. Do you want to hear the most controversial, non-controversial statement said by a president during an election year? It's right here. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. The political parties in the United States debated this statement for a week going into the election. So let's use economics to talk about both sides. First, from the side of Democrats that support President Obama. President Obama's 100% right. You didn't build those roads, man. And now let's hear from Republicans. It's not the government making it, it's me making it, and they're taking my money. So which one is right? They're both right. It is 100% true that firms did not produce roads and hospitals and other public goods. At the same time, it's 100% true that these things would not exist if it wasn't for the free market capitalism that allows us to tax those firms that produce stuff. So it's not a controversial statement at all. There's really no one out there wants to completely shut down the government and get rid of all the public works programs and the public goods. Except for libertarians. But even hardcore libertarians recognize the importance of national defense and having a government that helps keep order. So the question isn't should the government do everything or should the government do nothing? The question is how much tax revenue should they take? and what public goods and services should they provide. Man, that's a pretty long intro to talk about public goods. There's two things that make something a public good, non-exclusion and shared consumption. Non-exclusion is the idea that you cannot exclude people who don't pay their taxes from enjoying the benefits of the public good. So free public education for everybody is a public good because even people who don't pay their taxes or foreigners that come into the country illegally still have access to public education. Other examples are national defense, street lights, and a public park. There's no way to exclude people from enjoying the benefits of those goods. Shared consumption, or sometimes called non-rivalry, is the idea that when one person uses the public good, it doesn't ruin it for other people. So I can use national offense, and you can use national offense, and any person can use national offense. Looking at these two characteristics tells you why the free market doesn't produce public goods. The free market won't produce things like lampposts for everyone because there's no profit in it. Remember, profit is the key to the free market system. And if firms don't get profit, well, then they don't produce the product. The reason there's no profit in public goods is because of the free rider problem. And that goes back to the whole idea of non-exclusion, right? If somebody enjoys the benefits, even if they don't pay, then they're not gonna pay. If you get it for free, why bother paying? If you don't believe me on that one, why don't you check your computer for some illegally downloaded music? Now make sure to take a look at the review video that covers all the concepts for microeconomics and also my review apps for your smartphone. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. Till next time.